Okay, hello everyone. So in this lecture, so in previous lecture, we have learned uh, what is Springs Framework and why Springs Framework and uh, what is tightly coupled and what is loosely coupled, right? So if you want to learn Spring Framework, so our Spring Boot Framework, you must to learn these four basic concepts. So Spring Framework is having core module and that is backbone for Spring or Spring Boot application. So what, what are those concepts? Tightly coupled and loosely coupled, dependency injection and application context. So we have covered uh, first two, right? Tightly coupled we have covered and uh, loosely coupled we have covered. Overall watching newly, you can watch previous videos to understand tightly coupled and loosely coupled. So let me go to the program. So in this lecture, you are going to learn uh, another level of loosely coupled. So here, so yesterday, let me start the program. Let me start, right, run the program. So if you run the program, Sachin Tendulkar able to wear red color shirt or any color shirt, whichever he want to wear. So till here, we are well and good. Tightly coupled, we understood. Loosely coupled, we understood. Now, still I can see there is a, some problem here. What is that problem? If I want to, uh, if I want to run this application, Sachin Tendul, if I want to wear shirt, Sachin Tendulkar want to wear a shirt, what he has to do? He has to create the Sachin Tendulkar class object and he has to use that object, then he can call this method. So to call this method, Sachin Tendulkar need a object, right? Sachin Tendulkar needs an object. So uh, who is going to create this object? So as of now, we have created the object manually. So Sachin Tendulkar, Tendulkar is equal to new Sachin Tendulkar. Who created this object? This object is created by ourselves. So that is also, let's say in my, in my project, I have 100 modules or 50 modules. So out of 50 modules, I may have 200 classes, 50 classes or 20 classes. Assume, just assume yes, a particular number. So whenever I want to execute particular concept or whenever I want to achieve some business logic, so I need to create what are all the objects are available in my application, what are all the classes available in my application. I have to create all the objects, right? So that is again burden for me. If I have 100 classes, I have to create 100 class objects. If I have 1000 classes, I have to create 1000 class object to make use of each and every functionality. So this that, that part is headache for me to create all the class objects. So I don't want to create the object. Then who will create the object? Spring Boot came into picture or Spring Framework came into picture to avoid dependencies for developer, which we are doing earlier. So if you want to execute particular functionality, so if you want to execute particular functionality, you have to create an object class and then again, you have to invoke that particular function. So here there is a extra burden. So you have to create the object by yourself. So that is a dependency. I have a dependency to execute my functionality. I have a dependency on to create the objects to execute my functionality. Now Spring Framework will train, Spring Framework will take care of those objects. I no need to create the objects which are all I needed. I no need to create the objects. Let's spring create those objects. I just need to make use of those objects. I just need to concentrate on business logic. I don't want to create the objects. I just want to directly use the use that existing object and then I will just call whichever I want. I just make use of that object, whichever functionality I want to achieve. So Spring Boot is having, sorry, Spring Framework or Spring Boot have, having very, very, uh, Important concept, nothing but dependency injection. The concept is called dependency injection. You can see third one. 
dependency injection so by providing dependency injection so we no need to create the objects which are all beans are available in my project spring will take care of all those beans how spring will take care of okay spring container while while starting the server whenever you are starting the spring boot application while starting itself spring container there is a container in spring application that container will create all the bean objects for us so we no need to create it so the moment you server start up what are all the beans declared in our application those classes class beans are created by spring container so we just need to use those objects and we can implement our business logic this is called dependency injection spring container is removing dependencies to create objects by our own so we no need to create the objects so whenever during the runtime whenever you need the object spring container already created that object during the server startup and then you just need to invoke that object and you can make use of specific functionality so now you have a question okay sir server start, while sir, while starting the server spring container create the objects now how i can get get that object so there is a concept called application context there is a fourth one application context so application context is going to manage all the beans which is all the bean class objects which are created by spring container and those objects we can access with the help of application context so application context is going to manage all our beans which are available in our project that's it guys so if you learn these four concepts you can do anything in spring and spring boot application these four are majorly important in spring framework now i will show you practically how we are going to achieve dependency injection and how we are going to access application context and how we are going to uh, uh use specific functionality without creating the objects so now we have a dependency to execute my wear shirt method i have to create the object right so now what i will do i don't want to create the object okay so let me comment it out so let's uh go, go to let's uh uncomment the spring application dot run method organize the import control shift o so this will be this is the entry point uh this is the entry point when you start the server right so whenever you are starting the server ex pro, uh, spring boot application program execution will start from here okay so now what this will do that will uh internal implementation in depth i will explain you later now you focus on how we are going to manage our spring bean objects which are available in our project so let's say here there is a spring application dot run method so run method go to the run method see if you go to the run method so run method is returning configurable application context there is a configurable application context interface is available and this will extends application context so application context is going to manage all the beans we are going to access all the beans with the help of application context so now uh, we just need to return this object okay configurable application context go to your main class so this run method is returning you just need to remember how we are going to create application context in spring boot how we can create so just go, click on this run method so run method is already returning application context what is that configurable application context just copy this and then just return that object because that function is already returning application context right so application context is equal to so let me create application context is equal to 
application spring application dot run method that's it so now you have the application context object so this application context object is created by spring container only that is internal process you no need to bother about it so the spring application dot run method will return application context configurable application context so now uh, how do how do spring container knows whether which bin class object it has to create so spring doesn't know by default spring will not create uh, all the bin class object by default it won't create guys we have to tell explicitly we have to tell so uh, spring container please create my bean class object like that we have to tell to spring container so if you tell to spring container then only spring container will create your bean class object so how it will create let me explain you now so go to your sachin tendulkar class now onwards you are not going to create sachin tendulkar class object you just need to declare at the rate component uh at, at the rate annotation so why at the rate i am not able to uh, write it ha it is my laptop issue you don't know don't bother about it so now i just copy control at the rate component annotation there is a annotation available in spring framework so compo there is a package arg dot spring framework package is having component annotation if you declare at the rate component annotation along with your class so then only spring container knows during the server startup okay i need to create this cl bean class object during the server startup so now spring container knows uh, i need to create this class object during the server startup because we have declared at the rate component annotation so whenever you declare at the rate component annotation along with Sachin Tendulkar class, so the moment you start the server, Sachin Tendulkar class object is going to create it by Spring Container. You no need to create the object of Sachin Tendulkar. Similarly, declare remaining class, Spring Boot uh, uh, blue color shirt class is there. So this this shirt color blue color shirt color uh, uh, blue color shirt class object also we are not going to create. Who is going to create? Spring Boot will create. So how Spring Boot knows to create by defining at the rate component annotation. Similarly, go to your uh, interface also. Here no need to declare. So let's say here later I will explain you. So here red color shirt is there. So here also I want to declare at the rate component annotation so the moment you start the server all those objects will be created which are which are all the beans you declared with at the rate component annotation so spring container will create those objects during the server startup okay so now let me i just created a red color shirt and blue color shirt as of now uh, i uh, Okay, let it create like that. Let me uncomment. Later I will do. I will tell you what is the purpose. As of now, I declared only red color shirt as a at the rate component. And then I have declared such an tendulkar class as a at the rate component. Now let me access once you server start up right, those objects will be created by spring container. Now, how I can access those objects with the help of application context? You can see fourth point application context so now i will access those objects with the help of application context let me comment it out this one also now come down application context dot application context with the help of application context we used to uh, get uh, spring container created beans right so get bean so there is a method called get bin. Application context is having method called get bin. So here you need to pass which are which are all the uh, which are all the class object you want. You just need to pass that. That's it. So let me as part of string. Just that's it. So now 
here you need to declare string also no need to declare what you have to do let's say i i want sachin tendulkar object i already declared sachin tendulkar object as a at the rate component just to do class that's it so now you you will get sachin tendulkar class object sachin tendulkar sachin tendulkar is equal to application dot dot get bean why because we are going to access sachin tendulkar objects we are not creating the object earlier we have created here we uh, explicitly created the object this case what we are doing we are not creating the object who is going to create spring container will create during the run time whenever you are starting the server that time spring container will create our sachin tendulkar object how spring container created sachin tendulkar object because i have declared at the rate component with uh, sachin tendulkar class so, so spring container knows okay this class object i have to create so spring container will create this object during the server startup so once server is started so this class this class this class object is available so you just need to access that available object how you can access with the help of application context fourth one okay so how we can get the, how we can create application context object so spring application dot run method is having return type configurable application context so that you just need to return so during the server startup spring container will create application context object as well so we are we already have application context object so by with the help of application context object so we can access the objects which are created by spring container so i need a sachin tendulkar object so i just need to ac access with the help of application context application context dot get bean and sachin tendulkar so now just sachin tendulkar dot we are shut call that method so that's it so this is also another level of loosely coupled programming we no need to depend on creating objects who will create the object so spring container will create the object so during the runtime so spring is going to create all the objects and we are just need to access those objects where all where, uh, which are all the objects you want you just need to access those objects with the help of application context very simple guys so spring is providing objects for us so we have we don't have dependency on to create the object Spring container is created objects. We are just using those objects to uh, impl uh, implement the business logic. That's it. So dependency injection, nothing but spring container will provide objects for us. We no need to create it. We just need to make use of those objects by with the help of application context. And then we can uh, implement our business logic. We just need to focus on business logic. We no need to bother about it creating objects in Spring or Spring Boot application. So if you run this application, if you run this class, what will happen? See, you can see Sachin Tendulkar weird red color shirt. So who is created this class object? Spring container is already created. We are just accessing with the help of application context very easy guys okay so i will uh, i will teach you in depth concept so how application how content uh, how uh, how these objects are created by spring container in depth i will explain you tomorrow okay thank you guys we'll catch you tomorrow